Okay, so today what I'm going to do is show you how to take your colored image and just add a little bit more to it so that it has uh, a, little, a little more detail. Uh, the program that we are going to use is called Adobe Fresco. So we have to first download Adobe Fresco and then once you open it, you should see a screen that looks like this. You're going to go ahead and press create new. So um, in Adobe Fresco, you could either work with an 8x10 with a resolution 300, make sure it's in inches, or 10x8. So 8x10 is vertical, 10x8 is horizontal. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go to custom size, you press the plus button, and then you change the unit from pixels to inches. And then I know mine is an 8 by 10. So I'm going to make the width 8, the height 10. Orientation is um, vertical, also known as portrait. My resolution is going to be 300. It just stands for pixels per inch. That's what PPI stands for. So 300 pixels per inch. My background's white. I'm going to create the document. From here, we're actually going to add in the photo. So you go to this little photo icon at the bottom left of your screen. You select photos and it should take you to all of the photos in your iPad. You're simply going to open up the image that you colored and scanned. Right now, mine is upside down. The way to rotate it if you see, there's um, a bar at the top that has an, uh, a double circle with a line. I'm just going to click on that top circle and I'm going to rotate while holding down. And I'm going to rotate it until I like the direction and let go. Happy if I think it looks good, I'm going to press done. So here's my image so far. I can zoom in, see what it looks like. There are some parts, for example, I'm going to work on this flower. So, as I told you guys, they don't have to be perfect because we're going to keep editing them. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to go over the petals of this rose. So, I don't want to actually draw on the, the layer that the coloring is on. So, if I look to the side, I see that I have three layers open. I have a white background, an empty layer, and then I have my color layer. I'm going to take my empty layer and I'm going to drag it to the top. Okay, on this layer, I'm actually going to use my brush. I'm going to use a basic brush, hard round, on black. Here's my color. And then 9 is my size. I'm going to make sure it's a low size. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to trace over the design of the rose so that it's bolder and it stands out and it looks nice. So I'm just quickly going over it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. These are just to show you guys how to use the tools. This project doesn't have to be 100% professional. So I'm just quickly going over what you color. Okay, from here, now I have, if I turn off my eyeball, I have just the rows. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to add an empty layer. The empty layer is going to go between the color and the drawing that I just did. Okay, from here, I'm actually going to use my eyedropper tool, bottom left corner of the screen. I'm going to select the color of the rose by going on the rose with my eyedropper tool. I could see the color in the bottom left corner. And then I'm just going to make a lighter version of it. So I'm just going to drag it to the side. And this time I'm going to be on my empty layer. And this time I'm going to select a watercolor brush. So maybe I'll use the splatter one. See how that looks. So I'm using a splatter watercolor brush. You guys could try a bunch of different ones. Actually, I'm not going to use the splatter. I'm going to use the wash soft. 
I'm going to choose the size. And then I'm just going to color over my original color. And as you can see, it's just kind of filling in over my red. So I'll just really quickly do that. If I think that I filled it in too much, what I can do is change the mode of my layer. So right now, I clicked on these three lines with circles at the, the right side of the screen. These are my layer blending modes. Right now it's on normal. If I go to multiply, I could see the different look of each mode until I like one of them. So I kind of like this one. So I'm going to stay on this one. I could see the difference between Actually, no, this one's not good. Okay, hold on, sorry. So let's say I, I choose multiply. I could also change the opacity of what I see. So I could make it darker. I can add more in the areas that I don't think it looks finished. I could also go in Let's say I want to erase some of it. I could go in and erase it. I could add more color on top. So let's say I want to do a different color. I could do a darker color. So you guys can edit these however you think is fit for your drawing. I'm always going to do this on the layer below my uh, drawing layer so that it doesn't go over the black lines. In some areas, let's say I want to make it really dark. So it doesn't all look the same. As you can tell, it's starting to look a lot more detailed. So when I zoom out, I could see maybe what I want to fix. If I want to fix a little bit more, I could do that. And then once I like it, let's say I like the entire image. I'm finished coloring in, I'm finished outlining, and I want to save it. So what I'm going to do is go to the top right screen and select this square with an arrow going up. I'm going to go to Publish and Export, and I'm going to export it as a JPEG. So that's a quality high format. It just means it's a photo format. So always, always choose JPEG. I can name this if I want to. I can name it Fall. Okay, it's not letting me name it, so I'm just going to go ahead and press Done. And then I'm going to see in my photos if it's saved correctly. No, it didn't. Let me try that one more time. I think it didn't export because I didn't have a, a title. So... When you press export, it'll allow you to save image, and then you just select that, and you press done. So now when I go back, I always double check just to be safe. Now it's saved in my photos. So that's what we're going to do for today. Tomorrow we'll have a part two to this. So eventually what we're going to do is we're going to open it in Photoshop. I'll show you really quickly. Mm, never mind. Hold on. I'm going to go to the app. So eventually what we'll do is we'll open it in Photoshop. And then we'll go to quick selection. Or actually we'll go to select subject. It'll select our 
color and then we're gonna copy that we're gonna add a new layer and we're gonna paste that so once we do that we'll be able to um, collage it into a different background. So there's a lot of things we can do with Photoshop. I personally love Photoshop and I love the options you have. So my point, my goal is to just give you guys the ability to add, hold on, let me get a photo. So I just wanna show you like what they could look like. We're gonna resize this, make a collage. So let's say our drawing goes there, once we're all done. Beautiful. Um, so again, I'm gonna try to take this one step at a time because I know for some of you, this is your first time using Photoshop. And some of you may be familiar and it won't be as difficult but we'll try to help everyone along. Okay, good 